mm-hmm. how can a man in this situation then balance that need to or need or want or desire to help her mom, but also not neglect her own finances in the process? Because she, like she said, she said she's not a, a high income earner. So I know mm-hmm. she's probably feeling the strain of trying to, you know, give her mom some money, but also save her own future. How do you how do you navigate that? Yeah, you navigate that, Chris, by identifying how you are able to help. So, you know, sometimes we do things based on feelings. Sometimes we do things based on fact. And sometimes we just do things because we can only give what we're able to give. So for Amanda, it's very important to ask herself, OK, well, if you want to help Amanda, then how are you able to help? Does that look like purchasing groceries for your mom each month? So now you provide groceries for her. Um, not it's not making maybe not a bill, but maybe you you buy groceries maybe two weeks out of the four to five weeks that's in a month, you start with how you are able to assist. Are you willing to move in with your mom when she reaches retirement to be able to help her with bills? Is she able to move in with you? Is that a possibility? So it's very important for Amanda because she is concerned right now she may be a lower earner. Maybe that may not be the case in the future when her mom retires, but it's very important for her to ask herself, how would you like to show up for your mom? Even if that's not financially and being able to give, how can you start to help her organize what's next for her future? Like what money will be coming in, Chris? what her expenses are right now, if there's anything that she needs to cut, helping her just get organized for the next step in her life. So sometimes it's not financial help, it's just being able to help her get her next steps in order and organizing. 